Unlike some other natural disasters, there is no season for earthquakes. They can strike at any time, day or night, without warning. The majority of the United States is susceptible to an earthquake of some magnitude, not just the West Coast. The central Mississippi Valley, parts of the East Coast, and the U.S. territories are also at risk. So it's important to learn how to protect ourselves from earthquakes. Start by looking throughout your home for items that could cause injury, break or cause property damage if they fall, move or dislodge during an earthquake. This can be done by following these three easy steps. Look up, look around, and look down. First, look up. Identify overhead objects that need to be secured. For example, ceiling fans, chandeliers, and pendant lights should be supported with a minimum 9-gauge wire cable that is bolted to the ceiling joist or beam. The cable should have enough slack to allow it to sway. Next, look around. There are five categories of items you'll need to be on the lookout for. Hanging decorations, heavy furniture, items located on shelves and tabletops, electronics, and cabinet doors. Secure hanging decorations like pictures and mirrors by hanging them from closed hooks. Or you can close open hooks with a pair of pliers. The number of hooks needed for each object will depend on size and weight. Large objects are more stable when hung from two hooks and are sufficiently screwed directly into the studs. Hooks that are simply embedded into drywall or plaster are likely to pull out, allowing objects to fall. Move heavy furniture like bookcases, china cabinets, and entertainment centers away from beds, sofas, desks, or other places where people sit or sleep. Take special note of anything heavy enough to cause bodily injury or that can block an exit. Secure heavy items once they've been moved. Use flexible fasteners such as nylon straps to secure top-heavy furniture to at least two wall studs. L-shaped metal brackets with lag screws into studs can also be used. However, flexible fasteners are better because they allow objects to sway, reducing the strain on wall studs. Items on shelves and tables can fall and break, creating dangerous conditions. In more severe earthquakes, they can become deadly projectiles. Install a lip edge or other type of restraining device to keep books and other objects from sliding off shelving. Keep your electronics like televisions, stereos, and computers secure with buckles and safety straps that allow for easy relocation. Secure other items like lamps, pottery, and collectibles with Velcro glued to both the items and furniture or non-damaging adhesives like earthquake or museum putty, clearquake gel, or microcrystalline wax. Secure doors to kitchen cabinets and other storage units like entertainment systems and china cabinets with childproof hook and eye or positive catch latches to prevent stored items from crashing to the floor. Once you have completed the steps described so far, you are two-thirds of the way to better protecting your home. The final step is to look down. During earthquakes, unsecured appliances often fall over, rupturing rigid water and gas connections. Secure your water heater with two steel straps screwed into the studs or masonry of the wall and install flexible corrugated copper water connectors. Post-earthquake fire can be as deadly and destructive as the earthquake itself and often starts with gas leaks. Make sure appliances such as stoves and clothes dryers have flexible gas or electrical connectors to reduce the risk of fire. Locate your gas shutoff valve and make sure you know how to turn off the gas supply to your home with the use of a wrench. Be sure to keep the appropriate wrench close to the gas valve. Consider installing an automatic gas shutoff valve that activates when sensors register ground shaking or an increased flow in gas. Finally, relocate any flammable liquids to a safe garage or outside storage location. For financial protection, contact your insurance company or agent and consider purchasing earthquake insurance. Remember, to protect your family, home, and belongings, look up, look around, look down. For more information on protecting your home, visit flash.org and fema.gov.